Instead of fixing something, I thought we would kind of carve into these two lifters that I pulled out of that Kohler CV-17 and uh, see what's the problem. They are pumped up and primed full of oil, so I can't push down on the spring because they have, you're supposed to put a drill bit or something in, in a drill bit and then push down on them to purge them of oil. I want to see if I can get into them without having to do that. I've never gone into them. They have this little retaining clip here that um, I think I just need to, goes around here, I just need to open this up, try and pull this out of the groove like so. And then I'll do this side. Comes out pretty easy. And I'll try to keep this in focus. Oops, I don't know where that went. Well, that could be one of the reasons why you're supposed to purge those of oil. So, let's see what we got. And I will find that uh, pin somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where that went. It's over there somewhere to my right. Okay. There's our spring. So here's our. This is full of oil. Let's see how much oil is in here. Maybe a tablespoon of oil. And they are slippery. Well, there's the inside that just came out. Let me uh, let me get a paper towel here, and let me pause this for a second so I can pick up the pieces that just fell out. Oh, there's my clip. So this is what came out of the lifter, which you saw me pull out the spring, and then I dropped, this came sliding out. This was in here, like that. This came sliding out. And this rolled underneath my tractor, which I believe is the cap. But I found this laying on the ground. And I'm thinking that this must be part of that because it fits too well. It has to be. It was in a totally different place. And the only reason I know it must be part of it, one, it looks like it should be, and two, it is had a little bit of oil on it. So I'm going to assume that that's an oil gal uh, passageway, and that fits in here somewhere. So after taking this apart, the spring, this major big spring, it's just uh, sitting in there. That's your spring. And here's your clip. Push rod will sit right in here. It also, I think I showed in the last video, has a hole in it. Uh, the oil is pumped from the engine through that to the valve, so it gets up to the overhead valves. That's today's boring video. So that is what a Kohler hydraulic lifter looks like. Rather uneventful, but these are the parts. So I googled Kohler hydraulic lifter and what came up was Summit Racing and I've ordered a number of parts from Summit for uh, my ATV looking at the body the plunger spring which I showed everybody um, the inner core is the plunger and that thing that fell on the ground that had four holes on it that's the metering metering valve and then the only thing left is the plunger cap which um, I took off and then the clip. So that really is all that is there and really nothing that appears to be rebuildable. So I'm kind of glad that uh, I found this. So um, mystery solved. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. And uh, while we tear down a hydraulic lifter, maybe you found this interesting. Um, hope so. And please uh, rate, comment, and uh, subscribe for more videos fixing things out in the garage. Thanks a lot, everybody.